Hello everyone, my name is Brianna Smith and today I'm here at Runabeat Media London headquarters to welcome the beautiful Ashley Banks. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. That's good. So, as an emergent artist, what initially sparked your interest in pursuing a career in music and how has your Zimbabwean background influenced your musical style? Um, I've always I've sang, I knew that I could sing from a young age, so I knew that I was going to get into music. The question was when, and I guess the time is now. I just never had an idea of when I was going to get into it, but I knew I was going to get into it. And my Zimbabwean background has influenced my music style because I grew up listening to some Zimbabwean music. Mm. My parents always used to play in the house. Um, different artists that they grew up listening to. So you can definitely hear it in my music. I feel like it's very good to just express your culture through your music and I exactly. feel like you can definitely tell yeah, as well. Exactly, yeah. So you have an incredible vocal talent, Thank you. but as you mentioned, you lack the performing experience. How are you preparing yourself to overcome this challenge and gain confidence on stage? I'm always in the flow, I'm always practicing, I'm always um, keeping myself engaged in my artistry and I think once the opportunity presents itself for me to perform live, it's just to, it's just going to come naturally because mm -hmm. I'm a natural born artist. Yeah. That's what we do, we perform. I think it's definitely in your blood. Yeah, well. it is, yeah. <laughs> Social media is a powerful tool for artists to engage with their fans. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to utilise your platforms like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube to connect with your audience? I love those platforms. I I think they're fun, they're creative, they allow you to express yourself creatively. Yeah, and by doing that, you engage with people because they like what you show them and they like how you um, present yourself to the world. So I think by just being on the platforms more often is how I'm going to engage with the audience and how I'm going to utilise them. I think definitely you can get more influence as well from different exactly. artists as well through social yeah. media. Mm -hmm. So building a fan base is essential for any artist's success. What strategies do you have in place to attract and grow your fan base? I think my strategy is to be the best, to be excellent mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. And that's how I'm going to attract them. Yeah, strive, strive for the top. Yeah, exactly. Make the best music and people will like it, they'll mm -hmm. gravitate towards it. Collaboration often leads to exciting opportunities. Are there any artists or producers you hope to collaborate with in the future? Um, Live Bianca, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Olive mm. Bianca, but I would really love to collaborate with her. I love her music. Um, and I think Guilty Beats as well, mm -hmm. somebody I would love to get in the studio with because I just think he's so talented. Definitely. To all the viewers out there, you heard it, tag Libyanka and Guilty Beats because Ashley wants to collaborate with them. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Being based in London, a city known for its diverse music, how do you plan to leverage the local musical community to gain exposure? I guess through collaborating with different people from different backgrounds, like you said, it's a multicultural place. Mm. And I think by putting myself out there and engaging with other artists and embracing other people's cultures, I'll be able to leverage that. Mm -hmm, definitely. So your music has the potential to resonate with a wide range of listeners. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your sound and the message you aim to convey through your lyrics? I think my sound is very unique. It's very mm. unique to Ashley Banks. And the type of message that I put in my music all depends on where I am emotionally. And I think everybody is quite emotional. Everybody goes through life mm, and has different emotions. And I think by staying true to that, I'll be able to connect with more people. Yeah, I feel like they can definitely tell through the types of lyrics as well. Mm, yeah. So many artists face challenges and setbacks along their journey. Have you encountered any obstacles so far and how do you stay motivated and focus on your musical aspirations? Yeah, I have. A <laughs> I feel like everybody um, has obstacles in life mm. and as an artist we definitely have a lot of those um, and I think I stay motivated through A, my faith, I believe in God and having the right people around me, having yeah. the correct team around me to motivate me and support me and remind me on the days where I'm not feeling the best that I am the best and mm. that I am going to um, obviously achieve great things in the world. I feel like it definitely adds to your story to tell as well and how you got to where you are now. Exactly. Mm. So live performances are an important aspect of an artist's career. Mm -hmm. Are there any plans in the near future for you to showcase your talent on stage and what can your fans expect from your live performance? There are plans for me to be performing. That's great to hear. <laughs> 
in front of large audiences and I think my audience should expect um, again excellence I think when I'm putting on a show I am going to bring the voice of course mm. the talent that I have is, is my gift to share with the world but also I want them to be excited so I guess the visual aspect of it will be amazing as well and be a bit out there just to give them the entertainment that they're looking for yeah yeah, yeah. I feel like definitely as you said it's definitely a gift what you have and mm. I feel like you need to showcase it exactly <laughs> So finally, what goals and aspirations do you have for your music career in the next year or two? And are there any upcoming projects you're allowed to tell us about? Uh, I'm going to keep that to myself, mm -hmm. but the goal is to be successful for myself and my team to be mm -hmm. successful and reach the top. That's yeah. the goal. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to say thank you so much for coming here today and a big thank you from Run Beat Me Media and we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you so much for having me, I appreciate it. No problem. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to Runabeat and hit the notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow ours and the artists' socials below.